Hi everyone, I am Dr. Harish, Consultant Head, Department of Surgical Oncology, KMC Hospitals, Mangalore. Uh, October month is observed as Breast Cancer Awareness Month all over the world. We all know breast cancer is the most common cancer all over the world and also in India. So, uh, breast cancer is something which can be detected at an early stage and it can be cured once it is detected. So that is the main reason we all over the world this awareness program is done and most of the patients in India are presented at the later stage that is in the stage 3 or stage 4 but other parts of the world most of the patients are presented in stage 1 or stage 2. So once the patient presents in early stage we have very good treatment available we can cure the disease. So that is the reason. So these kind of awareness programs are done. So all over the world they have done these programs and they are able to cure the same thing. So breast cancer is something which is preventable. So with normal healthy lifestyle in the sense having a good diet which can maintain your body mass index that is called BMI less than 25. So you can avoid obesity is the thing which can prevent breast cancer and also avoiding smoking, alcohol. Uh, can prevent breast cancer. New mothers can feed uh, the child for at least one year. If they are feeding for two years, breastfeeding uh, is always good. If breastfeeding is done at least for one year, it is tend to, it is known to reduce the risk of breast cancer. So, breast cancer is a preventable cancer. So, at the same time, uh, so what are all the signs and symptoms of breast cancer? So the common signs and symptoms of breast cancer are generally they present with a lump in the breast or lump in the breast along with nipple retraction or nipple discharge it can be bloody discharge or serous discharge they can be an ulcer over the breast or there may be change in the shape of the breast that is called a symmetry compared to the opposite breast there may be any recent changes in the symmetry can also an important thing which they have to consult the doctor. So there are few advanced uh, breast cancer symptoms like uh, like back pain, they are having jaundice, having pain abdomen, abdominal distension, breathlessness, all these things, uh, the difficulty in breathing, all these things are the symptoms which are little advanced uh, stage uh, symptoms. So if somebody is having all these symptoms, they have to consult the doctor immediately. So what are all the risk factors for this breast cancer? Breast cancer risk factors uh, can be an divided into modifiable and non modifiable risk factors. Can advanced age that is postmenopausal lady more than 60 years, early menarche that is uh, menses which are starting at very early age and they, it is stopping in, at a very late age in a sense more than uh, for 50 years. Uh, so that is called menopause if you know, women having more than expected uh, late menopause is one thing uh, which can hormonal risk factor for breast cancer. Late childbirth is something nowadays females who are giving birth after the age of 35 is also a risk factor for uh, if compared to the women who has uh, given childbirth before the age of 30 uh, is a risk factor for breast cancer because there are lots of hormonal changes uh, women who has been noticed. So other than that, uh, there are other uh, family history is something, uh, first degree family member is having breast cancer, then the chance of other person in the family getting breast cancer is high. So there are few mutations like BRCA1, BRCA2 and uh, P53 that is the genetic mutation, HNPCC is a syndrome which runs in families. These people can also have breast cancers. So any family history is there, then they have to consult the doctor immediately. So in this uh, situation, the other risk factors uh, in the sense modifiable risk, risk factors are obesity, smoking, increased alcohol intake and a uh, few radiation exposure like uh, uh, people who are working in some factories who are uh, known to get exposed to certain uh, type of radiations, they are also uh, at higher risk factors and also uh, previously it was hormone replacement therapy which is having more estrogen uh, uh, level. Nowadays uh, the recent hormonal therapy is having uh, less estrogen so it is that are not, hormone replacement therapies was one of the risk factor nowadays it is not. So these are few modifiable risk factors. If the patient comes with all the symptoms which I have mentioned before then there are certain tests we, we are doing at the hospital level that is one is the clinical examination. Clinical examination means it is the doctor who is doing the examination. There is one more thing called 
self breast examination where the patient themselves examination of the breast so at least once a month six steps in that so you can do yourself at least what the recommendation is at least once a month self breast examination is important so now uh, mentioning is the clinical examination so clinical examination is more important than self breast examination because so many trials over this whether self breast examination itself is enough so it is not so it is always uh, any uh, if you have suspicious of any of any lump or ulcer or discharge you have to consult the doctor immediately so that is where you have to uh, visit the hospital so where a doctor will do the examination that is called clinical examination so in clinical examination we'll see whether the lump is uh, having uh, is it uh, cancerous or not then we do other imaging like one more imaging is the mammogram or mri depending on whether uh, family history is there or patient is whether the if the patient is very young 25 to 30 years mri is the best uh, or any family history having brca mutation in family or if the person is known to have Uh, genetic mutation then the mri is best better than mammogram otherwise for uh, most of the people we generally recommend mammogram so once you do the imaging the next test is the biopsy biopsy can be true cut biopsy or fnse generally true cut is preferred over fnse because uh, we can do other markers ihc markers over the specimen so these are the three, three tests that is clinical examination imaging and biopsy that is called triple test which can be done within uh, 30 minutes in a good hospital so it is possible to identify breast cancer in one day and so that you can take a better treatment so uh, early detection is the main thing in uh, breast cancer so once you detect the breast cancer so then next step is the treatment uh, staging staging wise you have to do staging one to stage one to stage four stage four is something metastatic so it is already spread to other organs uh, stage one and stage two are early breast cancers so we do either ct scan plus bone scan or a pet scan so that we can identify whether it has spread to other organs once the stage is identified the next best treatment surgery chemotherapy radiotherapy hormonal therapy and targeted therapy so a patient who is in surgery is the main uh, modality of treatment because all the stages except stage 4 uh, there are few patients even in stage 4 requires surgery so other treatment modalities we call it call them as adjuvant treatments so where they are actually helping surgery uh, along with surgery we are giving other treatments so that uh, the recurrence chances are less or we are able to reduce the risk of recurrence in those patients and increase the survival so in this situation surgery can be either uh, total removal of the breast that is the total mastectomy that is or you can remove the partial removal of the breast that is called the breast conservation surgery so it is possible to conserve breast in patients who are early breast cancers and there is no increase in the risk compared to total uh, uh, removal because most of the patients require radiotherapy along with breast conservation surgery so that we call it as breast conservation therapy so it is almost equal to recurrence wise no difference in mastectomy so chemotherapy is something which we are giving along with uh, surgery most of the patients require chemotherapy except few early breast cancers and there are nowadays there are tests like oncotype dx and uh, mama print and also uh, can assist which can help few patients whether whether they can require chemotherapy or not we can completely avoid chemotherapy in some of the patients who are uh, hormone receptor positive and hr2 negative patients so uh, chemotherapy is having some of the complications but they are not uh, intolerable it is possible to take uh, complete chemotherapy hair loss is something many of the patients are worried but most of the times uh, after 6 to 8 months of treatment most of the patients uh, regain their hair growth so it is not a worry so other than that uh, the other treatment options are hormone therapy it's a, we generally give tablets that is called tamoxifen or letrozole depending on the menopausal status so these are tablets which are given for 5 to 10 years they are actually protective so it is good if some patient is erp or positive and they are taking these tablets and other thing is the radiation therapy as i mentioned locally advanced breast cancers or breast conservation surgery patients generally require radiation 
and it is also uh, it has some of the complications but it is not like uh, it is possible for all the patients to complete most of our patients in our hospital uh, who have come across last year are alive who are leading normal life even after taking all the treatments which are mentioned and uh, we are very happy in, the, in that sense that we have saved so many lives because cancer is not a simple thing so that is the reason we are here for this uh, awareness program targeted therapy targeted therapy is something where trastuzumab is given it's an injection nowadays there are other targeted therapies also like pertuzumab and uh, other things who are had to positive they require trastuzumab and it is available in most of the centers even in nowadays in government centers uh, these are these things are available if had to positive patient is there definitely they require this therapy for one year one in 17 cycles of injections once in 3 weeks so uh, it is possible to give uh, all these treatments with uh, minimal complications in a good center so the most important uh, thing about this program is spreading the awareness in the sense uh, it is possible to prevent the cancer that we should all be aware at the same time we can diagnose this breast cancer at an early stage especially if you look at the other part of the world most of the patients are at early stage but in india uh, we are actually lagging behind we are diagnosing this cancer at a later stage if we diagnose at early stage we can cure the cancer and we can save the life so the most important thing is that i pray for most of the people who are around who are watching this to have healthy life adopt healthy lifestyle so that we can avoid this uh, cancer not only cancer healthy lifestyle can avoid cardiovascular diseases other cancers like endometrium gi cancer gastrointestinal cancers so definitely that is one of the method to avoid cancers thank you for watching